Right now at 5.30, a Brooklyn father arrested in the death of his one-year-old baby girl. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. The little girl died last week, and tonight her father is facing several charges. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger spoke with neighbors and has more from Brownsville on the investigation. Neighbors on this quiet street say the little girl who police identified as Ania Wyhat Wright was about to celebrate her birthday. Corey Sanders lives right downstairs. The kids used to come out, they'd play right there in front of the yard and just chill. That's it. Or they'd take them to the park right there. Now the child is dead and her father, 33 year old Robert Wright, is in custody. According to cops, he's facing charges of manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide, assault, and failure to exercise control of a minor. You couldn't do anything. It's like you didn't see anything wrong. You see them coming and going like a regular family. Investigators say the father brought the baby to Brookdale University Hospital on Tuesday. She seemed to be suffering an apparent seizure, had bleeding in her brain, and went into cardiac arrest. She was rushed to a children's hospital in Queens where she was pronounced dead on Wednesday. The investigation revealed that she had been struck in the back of the head and died of a blunt force trauma injury. Long-term residents say they sometimes saw the family together and nothing seemed wrong. To a few of our neighbors, it's a little shocking because they seen the father, we're assuming that he's the father, uh, with the children and taking them to school, picking them up. Neighbors say the couple had a few young children living with them and have not been living here long. The Administration for Children's Services says they're working with the NYPD on this investigation and have secured the safety of those children. But neighbors around here are still struggling to understand how and why this happened. An angel is gone. For what reason? We don't know. Police say the father was ordered held on a $100,000 cash bail. He's due back in court on Thursday. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.